Andy. This is the 2021 Toyota Corolla LE. The Corolla is Toyota's best-selling sedan and has sold over 50 million units since its inception in 1966. This is the 12th generation. This generation came out in 2020. The last Corolla I was in was 15 years ago and it was nothing like this. If you haven't been in a Corolla since, you won't recognize this sedan. As I mentioned, this is the LE, which is the second lowest trim level, but it's fully loaded. It has better materials, safety features, and some autonomous driving features at no charge. You see, Toyota keeps it simple. They don't have additional charges for options or features. They just charge you for the trim level. So what you see is what you get. Believe it or not, there are nine different trim levels and the lowest trim level starts at $20,025 but it could go all the way up to $28,300. The LE starts at $20,475 with destination it's about $21,500. I'm going to go through all the options and features of the car and start it up and take it for a spin. So follow me in. Ch -ch 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 Check it out. This LE has a 1.8 liter. What? 1.8? Wow, engines are getting smaller and smaller. 1.8 four cylinder engine. It pushes out 139 horsepower and 126 pound feet of torque. Now, all that power goes to the front wheels since all wheel drive is not available in sedans. They save that for the SUVs and trucks. 0 to 60 comes in at 8 seconds. It's not about how fast this Corolla can go, but it's about the MPGs. And you'll be super impressed. 30 in the city and 38 on the highway. Woo! What the Corolla lacks in speed definitely makes up for it in fuel efficiency and reliability. This Corolla is far more engaging than the last generation and it's better looking. The Corolla beats its competitors in long-term value and dependability. Although the Honda Civic does come close and is bigger, it's also more expensive. Toyota gives you options. The Corolla offers three powertrains including a hybrid and comes in two body styles. Each engine will give you about the same MPGs except the hybrid. That will get you 53 in the city and 52 on the highway. If you're not a Prius fan, this is the hybrid for you. Trunk space is 13 cubic feet of space, smaller than its competitors, but like its competitors, it does have a spare tire. If you put the seats down, you'll get more than double the space. Let's see how many Randys fit in here to open the trunk. You either have to go inside to open it or use the remote. I could not find any buns on the outside to open the trunk, which is surprising, right? But if you find it, let me know in the comments below. Now the opening is super wide. As you can tell, the opening is pushed out to the corners and the bumper is low, so it's gonna be easy to load things in and take things out. You wanna get some plastic film right here on the bumper to help protect it. To close it, there's no handle, so you'll have to use this part here or use the top of the trunk. Wow, about one Randy fits in here really comfortably. The rear seats are comfortable and they're wrapped with a nice durable fabric. You won't get a USB port, but you will get an armrest with two cup holders. Let's see how easy it is to get inside and how comfortable it is once I get in there. I'm six feet tall, I'm gonna sit behind myself. Now it's really easy to step in because it sits like a regular sedan. The roof line isn't cut low like a four door coupe, so it's really easy to get in. You won't knock yourself out. Sitting behind myself, I have about an inch and a half of leg space and about a quarter of an inch of headroom. It's really roomy here. Two adults can fit back here comfortably or three kids or a whole bunch of clowns like me. Please hit that subscribe, like, and share button below. It helps me tremendously with YouTube's algorithm. The interior is really simple. It's in line with cars in this price range. There's nothing but miles of plastic on the doors, dash, and steering wheel, which is normal in this price range. You have to upgrade to the XLE to get synthetic leather on the interior with other goodies like a sunroof, heated seats, 
and push button start but that'll cost you four thousand dollars more the display has a bezel for the speedometer and a small digital screen to the right for essential information the steering wheel now has every button you could find on a fifty thousand dollar car except not all fifty thousand dollar cars have auto dimming high beams autonomous lane keeping assist and adaptive cruise control at no charge this all comes with the le trim level the infotainment system is really simple and easy to use it's not trying to be like the mbux system on the mercedes or even a chevy mylink there's no duplicate button and what you see on the screen is really what you only use on a daily basis like the stereo phone map and mpgs now for the fun part let's take the 2021 toyota corolla le for a spin A couple things to note, this Corolla rides smoother and gives you better handling than the last generation due to its upgrade in chassis and suspension. The Civic will give you a more comfortable ride since it has a longer wheelbase and better suspension but it costs $2500 more. It may be worth it if you're looking to take a step up in comfort, space and better interior. If you're looking for an inexpensive, low maintenance, reliable car that retains its value, Toyota Corolla is the car to get. Once you put 150,000 miles on it and ready for a new car, you'll still most likely get around $5,000 for it or more. I've said so many great things about the Toyota Corolla, it's time to get negative. And I only have one, and that's the seats. I can't find a good driving position in these seats. It lacks adjustability. It has the Volkswagen pumping action where it adjusts to go up and down. Then you have another lever to adjust the back. That's me, right? So you have to sit in these seats to see if it fits you good. I just can't find the right driving position. If you find that these seats aren't good, you're gonna have to upgrade the trim level to the XLE or the XSE possibly. It'll give you better materials also and more adjustability in the seats. Of course, you're gonna be paying probably a little more but it may be worth it. So there you go, the 2021 Toyota Corolla LE. If you're looking for a sedan that's super reliable, dependable, affordable, great MPGs, a lot of safety features, some technology, and autonomous driving at no charge, check out the Toyota Corolla LE. It will impress you as it did me. I enjoyed making the video for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below. I'm Randy. <laughs> See ya.